Sandhill Cranes are back for another nesting year here at Cardinal Marsh. They spent the winter down in southern Florida, uh, where it's nice and warm, uh, and uh, now they're back here dancing on the ice. Uh, by the way, we've probably got uh, a male and female. That, by the way, Sandhill Cranes mate for life, so male and the female are uh, probably vocalizing here. That may be their offspring. Uh, that's uh, kind of, uh, uh, you might say, trailing along behind or tagging along. Uh, in the springtime now, the young birds that uh, uh, were hatchlings with the folks next year, they'll be taken off on their own. And uh, these sandhill cranes could nest here. They could actually uh, nest in northern Minnesota or all the way up to the Arctic Circle too. So it's hard to say this early in the season, but uh, if uh, you wanna see sandhill cranes now in the early spring's a great time to do it because they're gonna get a lot more secretive once the nesting season starts. After spending the winter down along the Gulf Coast, anywhere from Louisiana to uh, Southern Texas, these snow geese are again uh, moving north and uh, stopping by Cardinal Marsh now. Uh, we don't see a lot of snow geese here in uh, the Mississippi Flyway. Most of them uh, will move up the Missouri River or the Central Flyway. So they're always a treat to see here, but they sure are beautiful birds. Uh, they will be nesting either anywhere from the, like the west shore of Hudson Bay, uh, all the way up to Baffin Island in Northern Canada. So they've got a long way to go. By the way, all the birds in flight here are snow geese, even though some of them don't have much white on uh, their uh, bodies. Those are called uh, blue morph snow geese. And uh, they've got a gene in there that's dominant. And if either one uh, or both parents is this blue face snow goose, the offspring will too. So in order to get the white snow goose, you've got to have two white parents. Enjoy the snow geese as they move north. Greater white-fronted geese are racing into the driftless region now too, as the snow disappears and the ice starts to melt. Greater white-fronted geese typically kind of follow the snow line north in the spring. They wintered again, pretty much in the same area as the snow geese did down in uh, Texas along the Gulf Coast. They will be nesting in much the same area as the snow geese too. Again, up in Northern Canada, anywhere from Hudson's Bay up to the Arctic Circle. Uh, and the snow geese and uh, these greater white-fronted geese often even kind of migrate together. And in fact, uh, there were snow geese and greater white-fronted geese mixed together when I was uh, photographing uh, both the snow geese and greater white-fronted geese at the Cardinal Marsh. Uh, so uh, the greater white-fronted geese, by the way, if you look on uh, the, their heads there, they've got some white feathers right behind that orange bill. So it looks like they've got like a white front to their face and that that's why they're called a white fronted goose.